Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. Got it. And all these kids do too. Thank you. Everybody, thank you. Right here. You talking to me? Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Trump? I'm doing good. I love you, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Shelly Winter, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 95.5 FMWSB conservative talk radio host, Shelly Winter Show. Uh, really great at his job. He interviewed uh, Donald Trump. He also interviewed Killer Mike, a uh, contrast there. Uh, happens to be a good friend of mine because we do not talk politics when we see each other. Uh, Shelly, good day. Welcome to the bullpen. Welcome to Indisputable. Thank you, uh, Rashad. Uh, Dr. Richie, I should say, yeah. my brother. Thank you, Rashad. I appreciate it. We appreciate you. Uh, let, let me do this. Do we have a, the the photo of Shelley um, shaking Donald Trump's hand, taking the picture? Let's go to that really quickly because, sir, when I tell you, you look happier than a pig in slop. And I know this was one of those very iconic moments because I don't think I've ever seen Trump around that many black people, except for that time he brought the preachers in. So, Shelley, you interviewed Trump. You saw the crowd. I know exactly where you all were located. Um, it is an authentically, some people say it's not an actual African American community. It is. It's an authentically Afri African American community. Uh, but I, I do have a question at the end of you explaining what happened. I do have a policy question, but tell us what happened with Donald Trump's visit. Well, first of all, he's been around a lot of black people. Uh, many uh, oftentimes, I've seen him several times. I was around black people. Um, I saw him for Black Voices for Trump at Cobb County, um, uh, right up here at the um, uh, Cobb County, uh, Cumberland. Um, you know, that Biden place said, up here is Cobb, Biden uh, Cobb said, Biden said they're not black. He said Biden said those people don't count. <laughs> well, that's, that's what that, Biden yeah, said. That, and then yeah. you all still voted for him. So, yeah, yeah, right. But you still voted for him. But anyway, but, but you, um, you wait, know, wait, let me wait, say wait, this. Wait, you know, but, but you voted he's for comfortable. Trump. No, no, hold on. Let me, let me. You voted for right, Donald I did. Trump. I, I did, and you voted for okay. Biden. So, but here's Damn the point. Damn right, and I vote for Biden again over Trump. I, I know you will, but uh, but here's the point I'm trying to make. He he's always been comfortable around black people. That's why Sharp mm -hmm. didn't mess with him. That's why Oprah messed with him. That's why hip hop messed well, with him. This is not so, really about so so idea. Comfort, brother. So hold on, hold but, on. Let's talk about what on. happened. We we only have a few minutes here, Shelly. We just okay. Get so to I was on. going in with you, your your joke about not being comfortable around black people. I was answering that. No, no, I just said I've yeah, never seen him yeah. around that many black people. At right, one and time. that's not that's a fault. But you know that wouldn't. Well, be true. I haven't. No, no, it's true for me. I haven't seen him around that. Oh, that's right. You're from Decatur, so you wouldn't have. But anyway, same thing. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but no, seriously, um, that Vine City is like you said, it's right there on MLK. Mm -hmm. um, uh, people started getting excited when they saw the motorcade coming down MLK. There were people across the street in the streets videotaping them that you uh, wouldn't see in the media because the media was all inside. Um, but that was authentic. Um, the brothers that were construction workers, those were brothers who work, you know, in construction. The brother that was standing there, you see him reach his hand out. He was the one saying, I love Trump. I love Trump. These are young brothers who were feeling, you know, excited to see him. Those young kids um, that yeah. Michaela, you know, Michaela, I believe yeah. uh, that Michaela brought uh, to to the Chick-fil-A. Those young kids were excited. They weren't there because they were per they, they got mixed milkshakes or chicken sandwiches. I thought that was an insult to those young people um, that anybody that would say that I think is really insulting. Um, but those young people were curious. They were excited. That excitement was real. Um, and that excitement was uh, legitimate in that they were one meeting a former president, two meeting a candidate for president, and three meeting somebody that they're interested in voting on, and then you want to hear more from. Well, and, and here's the thing: um, to your point about the students, and some of them are former students uh, in the AU Center. All of them are not. No, no, only one. Michaela was the only one in the construction workers. Every other young person in that uh, that gathering were students at the AU Center. No, no. So my point is, uh, all of them. I actually work with some of those students. You know, I'm a professor at AU Center. Right. Uh, right. They're not all yeah, Trump Michaela's supporters. Michaela's the only one that say form. No, I didn't say they were. I said they were interested in seeing a former okay. president. All right. I just want to make candidate. sure I say that you know how things work in media. I want to make sure I say this for the record. They're not all Trump supporters, and that I has never been obviously that. one narrative. No, I'm just saying that to make sure that. Right. But I was there with them, the and I. 
I was there with them and I asked them before he got there, because we were there about a good 45 minutes before he got mm -hmm. there. I said, why are you here and, are you, and do you support Trump? And many of them said, yes, I support Trump. And some of them said, I'm here to hear what he has to say. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, so that, so the fact of the matter is the reaction, you want to judge, yeah. you want to judge now, a situation. what did he say? Well, he told one young lady asked him about student loans okay. and he said, yes, I know Joe Biden's getting rid of student loans. I think it, I think there shouldn't be a situation where you should have to take out a loan to go to college. That was his answer to a young woman. Okay, so let me let me uh, provide let me provide some context. You don't have to provide to anything or context. I can, I can do, I can do what I choose no, to you, do. No, I'm saying, but you're asking me what he said to a no, question. No, sir, that was what posed. I'm doing now is providing context and clarity for my for my sake. Because <laughs> when he says something like that, he was president for four years. He made no moves to do so. Uh, in addition to that, just allow me to finish, brother. But he wouldn't. He, wait, he that, would. He wouldn't make a move sir, to retire allow student me, debt. Allow me, dear brother, oh, to respond to oh, your bloviation. Man. No, it's not bloviation. We're here talking about the kids, not about yes. your opinion. No, no it's, it's an opinion show, and so no, but we do you, talk about you, my opinion. You asked me to come you on talk and about talk your about opinion. Well, right. let's talk about a fact. Trump didn't right. do a damn thing to move the needle of affordable education while he was president for four years. Fair enough. He's antithetical. He actually Neither. opposes. He right. opposes the left-leaning legislation that seeks to either cut the student debt that's currently all owed, right. or perhaps regulate massively regulate the cost of institutional. Um, right. Academic. And so, so yes, he opposes he, the policies that they say we need you to support. No, she asked a question and he said you shouldn't have to take out a loan. To what, go okay, to good. That's a, that's so a great, Joe that's a great Biden, statement. Joe Biden's been what in the Senate. Going to do? Hold on, brother. Joe Biden's been in the Senate for 50 goddamn. Mm, sorry, sorry, sorry. And been in the Senate for I, I sorry. Know I'm no, about no, you I'm guy, just man. saying it frustrates me. It frustrates me. I understand. I know he's It does because Joe Biden. Has been in the Senate for 50 years, and now right. all of a sudden he wants to retire student debt. He's right. never done anything to well, retire so, college. So, so let's stay on the Biden. On Biden. Let's, That's fine. Let's I think it's a fair criticism of Biden. The students don't give a damn about none of that. The students care about their now. All right. So I'm a current college professor right. at the AU Center. The students right. care about their now. So we can talk so about, they care about immigration, the historic they care about crime, dynamics of Biden, they care about Biden, jobs, et cetera. But they're, they're talking about to Trump, they talked about what? They talked about the cost of higher education. And one, you already one know question. this. One question. The other question was about jobs. The other okay. question was so about immigration. The other, the other let's question remain. was about the other okay, question fine, was brother. about immigration. Well, let's dissect so let's talk about it. The cost so the of point education is, first. I don't want to dissect to that. Let's don't? talk about no. Wait you know minute, why? Wait, wait, wait. These are college <laughs> students who are currently at the right. AU Center. A, right. a historically black colleges and universities. Right. They pose a question about affordability. Trump did nothing to tr transform that narrative. He right. made a, Fair enough. He made a political comment that is now being contextualized so when as it, if he's going to do something when he has no plan to and right. he didn't okay. do it during his four so, years. So you said that. So let's talk about what he did do that he did oh, answer okay. a question of about okay. immigration. So he didn't answer but, that question. Okay, all right, go ahead. He did answer the question. He, no, he no, answered he just the question. Said, he said, you, you he shouldn't said have should, to do it. You shouldn't have to take out a loan to go to college, which is a fair answer to the question. It's, but a, let's, it's but an look. unfair answer to for, from a policy oh, director. This, right, right, this individual right. is saying that he's going to transform policy and he provides nothing right. at all. And so so let's talk about what he did do while he was president. When they okay. asked him about criminal justice reform and he explained to them about the First Step Act, which several of them were impacted by because several of them told me in that Vine City thing, mm -hmm. one of the reasons why they liked them was it affected their family and people that they know. So so let's talk about that. So let's he did do talk that. About the let's also act. talk about. Let's also talk so about the fact. Let's so, no, you can't act. respond. Hold on, let me finish. Oh, oh, he no, also you're going to have to stop this man. No, uh, I'm not. I'm saying, because uh, you want to go down. Fact, you you, 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 you brother, want me to go? No problem. I appreciate it. Peace out, your brother. I'm good. Are you I'm running? Good. Because no, I'm not running. I'm just well, saying well, I came. You, liter you literally came have come on the show to say what I can't talk about, brother. No, I'm. I literally. But just think about. Think about, no, man, this, think this about white what man I'm got saying. you gassed up, man. No, this white man I'm got saying. you gassed up like this. Fair Jeremy. enough. No, Killer Mike got me gassed up. Let's keep it real. No, Killer no, Mike is let me, let me, let me explain. Let me explain. I came on here to talk about Vine City and Trump being at Vine City. You want to talk talking about, about policy. No, we're not talking about that. What you that. mean? He's we're running talking. for president. How do we not talk about policy? He's because running for president. Because the policies you're talking but because the policies, he's not running. He's running for re-election. Let's keep That's it right. real. And he's running for a second term. He's well, running politics on, is policies. You say this right, on your own show. Right, right. So 
But you politics. say politics is policy on your own right. program. Right, and so he's already extended a bunch of policies. That but you have, told me we're not going to talk about policies. No, I didn't say that. I said we're not going to talk about, I'm not going to go down a list of things that he answered and have Why? back and forth. Well, because it makes no sense. Because wow. we're talking, he's running for president. But he's at Vine City. Let's talk about- You don't think 30, Vine City residents deserve talk, policy? No, let's talk about the 30 black students who at Vine right, I'm talking City about the cheering they for a guy you them. said is right. racist. Right. The, the questions he had, they didn't pose questions. They were cheering. First of all, three questions were posed. Student I thought they didn't pose loans, any. jobs, jobs. I said student loans, jobs, and then immigration. So if okay. you want to go down each of those policies, he was good on jobs. You, you we talked know that. about the first He was good act. on immigration. We know that. We know, we he, know he was good on jobs. Good we know he's on, on, brother, let's okay. do this, man. I, I, yeah. I think- Whatever, I think dude. nuance. Yeah, he was is the required. worst president ever. There is no nuance. How are you going to talk policy and then talk nuance? It was he good or because not on policy jobs? Policy is nuance. Was he good or not on jobs? No, he wasn't. And let me provide okay. the data. Let me provide the nuance. Just provide data the data. Don't provide of. me the data post COVID. Provide me the data for the three years leading up to COVID. Got you. Go ahead, I, I will. Brother. So let me provide the data to you before COVID. Pew research before COVID. shows right. that the uh, average household median income of African Americans actually decreased. On a scale of two hundred to eight hundred dollars per year annually, this is prior you to COVID. But you always oh, bring on, that hold on, hold on, brother. So you always oh, brother, bring that. Up. No, no, brother, you always can, bring can that. You up. First of all, can you allow I me to finish? I thought we were finish? talking about jobs. Wait a minute, brother. No, because you're going to say the same thing you said. Household median income. And you are interrupting right, because I'm about to no. give you actual data and science. No facts that you're have actually, already occurred. Go ahead. You're actually going to you're actually going to give me data that the president has nothing to do with, as you always well, how do. Is, you how say, is it that the president has nothing to do with household median income, but he has something to do with jobs? Well, because they, he was asked about jobs, so I was answering that question. Now you're going to take it to Congress. You had a you had a what? Democrat <laughs> you had a Democrat <laughs> control. Yeah, no, you, you had a Democrat. You need to either take you had a Democratic, something or be off something because I I don't the, understand the, the, what you're so saying. Let's, so, so he's responsible so answer, for jobs, but not no, household median income. Well, a, a president mm -hmm. is not responsible for household medium income because he doesn't write the laws that create the situations. The Congress <laughs> writes sir, the laws. I, we, is that not sir, a true statement? Sir, Presidents only sign bills. The, the jobs uh, dynamic or the jobs argument is directly associated How to the that? household median income because you go to How, work to make I, money. Damn, well, well, brother. The, the, I'm tr what I'm trying to tell you is that if we're going to have a, 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 a jobs conversation, let's have yeah. the jobs conversation. So you're saying that Correct. Trump did not increase or lower the, the unemployment rate for African-Americans. The first oh, brother, I can answer that question. Uh, did he yes the, or no? Yes uh, or no? Sir, you don't frame go down the to a over here, dear brother. I'm not one did, of your cronies on WSB. No, I'm so saying, let me but go, did he Let me go, go ahead and answer ahead. the question. I don't want to mute you anything. I, I would right. like you to be respectful enough for an answer no, I'm and be still, willing to take I thought I was coming on here to talk about Vine City. Just answer like a man, brother. I be okay. the this will be over soon, Shelly. Yes, yes. Okay. Did, you, did he not lower the unemployment rate? Did he not so lower the unemployment rate? Did he not lower the unemployment rate? I'm going to answer the question, brother. You ready? Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. So Trump and his uh, jobs department, the DO, uh, the uh, Department of um, Labor, they released numbers called a U3 rating system number. Uh, the U3 rating system number says you are employed if you have uh, connection or contact with one hour of work in the 30 day cycle of survey. So the U3 rating system says, right. hey, you're employed if you have a one hour job right. or contract right. job. The right. U6 rating system contextualizes numbers and in the U6 rating system, guess what happened? People had more technical connection to employment, but they had less actual income to bring home. So you can argue under the U3 rating system that yes, more black folk had employment, but under the true rating system of U6, black people made less money, had less household median income, had less disposable income, et cetera, et cetera. You right. know I'm so telling that, the truth. So Right, so is that- Am I telling up? the truth, dear brother, now? Uh, uh, that's fine if you want to. I see it but as- Am I telling yes, the truth, yes, dear brother? Yes, you're telling the truth. So now let me ask Thank you a question. You. Does that Has that gone up in the not pre-COVID, but post-COVID economy from yes. 2021 to 2024? Yes. The U6 has the, gone the, up. That's correct. The household median no, income no, has uh, increased. So uh, the, say that again? The household median inc income did and, increase uh, after COVID. increased. Yes. After, yeah, of course it did COVID, increase yeah. after COVID. Of course it did after COVID well, because it was me, nothing. I'm no, I answer. said Biden, under Biden, not the 20 year. Yeah, the job market. Yes, the job market uh, 20 days Got ago. Better. 
Yeah, yes. Right. Fox Absolutely. News reported it. Come on, man. Exactly. You, of course you, it has. You, you know so, I know my stuff, dear brother. Right. On, so man. what I'm saying it to you is that I still say, I still maintain that Trump okay. did well on jobs. That's what he answered to college students in, and that's what they feel like. So let's right. not go to immigration. They also asked about immigration. Right. Let's talk about that. They also asked that that, that, just, that was it on the questions that they asked. Those okay. were the three questions. And what now was let's his talk answer? About, I, I, I got the wrap up sign. What was immigration, the answer? Yo, go ahead. It's a, immigration was simple. The immigration uh, argument was simply that you're safer. Uh, I mean, I mean, job prospects are better without immigration, without illegal immigration, not without immigration, without illegal immigration. And also you the, the black uh, black neighborhoods are safer without illegal immigration. Okay. Which is, I is think there, the numbers show data? that, too. Do you have some I data? do have the data. Okay. The data that show the data that shows if you uh, well, my data would be real life experience. If you go okay. by Ponce de Leon and go to the Home Depot at Ponce de Leon, right. you will see uh, African American men being left behind about 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning for Hispanic men that are no, that are there illegally for jobs Can that I those African American remedy. And I mean this authentic. No, no, no. I know. I don't need to do the data uh, because no, no, you don't know worry why? about the data, brother. I know. Right. I know you don't okay. believe in facts. So let no, me. No, it's uh, not about facts. Novel. It's about numbers. Right, Jay Z said, pose. "Men lie, women lie. Numbers. I mean, uh, Let, um, um, numbers don't lie. Men yeah. lie, women lie. Numbers don't. Lie, so, so, so don't tell me about. Don't, okay, sir. Figures don't lie. No, lies figures do figure can be manipulated out. however but you allow, want to. You know that. Me, allow You're a college provide, professor. You know statistics can be manipulated. Allow me to provide a novel uh, theory of economics or theory uh, that may become right. practical one day. Right." Um, the reason why the manipulation happens, obviously, in the undocumented immigrant uh, realm or arena is because of the employers who are willing to take advantage of them. So you and I both know the same federal law that makes it illegal to work without proper documentation. Uh, it's illegal to hire. The subsection of the law says it's illegal Ab to hire them as well. Absolutely. It's the same federal sub Absolutely. substatute. Uh, right, but you never right. see so the those CEO. companies. But but let, let me finish because no, I'm going should. to come with they the conclusion. Go to, they, but then not the same people that are, hold on. The, no no, hold on. brother. No no, this is not how it works here. I'm going but to finish saying, my thought and then you can respond. <laughs> no problem. Uh, those com those companies are not held accountable or responsible when you see 600 undocumented workers being arrested. But there was a hiring manager. There was an right. HR director. Absolutely, there was a CRO, you're right. Oh, a CEO, etc. You're right. Now the the reality of making sure. That there's a pathway, a roadmap that eliminates the the option of employers to pay somebody four dollars and fifty cent an hour. You have to eliminate the incentive of that. You got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of it because if you don't get rid of that, the manipulation we're talking about will remain. And then the second part is that it takes jobs. So no, not based on the data. Based on the data, undocumented workers. Undocumented immigrants bring more to the economy than they ever take away. That's in every estimation of economic breakdown. Well, of course, but the right. but the reality of what they of what actually takes away jobs is automation. When a when you go to a grocery store and there's an automatic um, cashier, it's a it's a yep. machine that takes away multiple jobs on one 24 hour shift, and those jobs never return. They never Absolutely. come back. So if you, you want to fight, fight that. Yeah. We are fighting that. So here's the point is okay. when you talk about illegal immigration, it's happening in Chicago, it's happening in New York, and it's happening, uh, yeah, Chicago and New York. Not much here yet in Atlanta. But what you're also seeing is when you take away those jobs due to automation, when you take away the opportunities for people to make money because uh, CEOs shouldn't hire them, and you're absolutely right, then what do you do with those people once you've let them into the company? You have a country, you have to take care of them. They have to eat, they have to be clothed, they have to go to school. So now the government is taking care of those people, which is why you're well, seeing I, a record number of African Americans. Please hmm. let me finish, sir. Okay, um, that's ahead, why you see a record brother. number of African Americans two more minutes, brother, in Chicago. I don't need two more minutes. That's why you're okay, seeing good. a number of African Americans in Chicago and New York be kind of mad at the fact that they're seeing their local municipalities pay for people's schooling, their ESL, English as a second language. That's taking money away from students. Oh, gotcha. um, you're taking seeing housing being paid for, food being paid for. So it's a natural thing, whether mm -hmm. you add to the economy or not, you're still right. taking care of people over sure. people that have lived here for a very long time. Gotcha. So yes, I, I, I a CEO, a CEO should point that you're trying a to make. CEO should go to jail. A CEO okay. should go to jail for hiring illegal immigrants because it's a federally it's federally against the law. Gotcha. Absolutely. Uh, and yeah, ESL programs, English as second language, those programs are return, they create return on investment. 
uh, through the taxation system and employable individual and understands the language, etc. But it and doesn't. So but it takes. Idea. But it takes away the money from this kid on the ground right then who might want to have art, but, but or, see, that, that's or the drama, that's or, the or, or art argument. or drama. But hold on, Shelly, think about because if you don't have that class, that because if the, you don't have that class now, that class, that money, those monies can be spent on arts classes that have been cut out of the program. Gotcha. So, so you know, Shelley, so, allow me so to... waiting twenty years for a return of your investment for people that are not here legally is okay. kind of hard pressed to tell the student. And the parent that's in school right now, you know, I find it quite interesting that sometimes we fall for the framing of the debate to suggest that when they tell you you only have a million dollars in the budget. Now they're sitting on a hundred billion. They're sitting Absolutely. on a hundred billion. They should increase. Then, the, they, they should increase the funding. With, all right. So, but let me let me finish the point. But, but, but let me but, finish but, the point, dear brother. They I'll have let you finish yours. Here in Georgia, they, they have increased the funding. Dear brother, that's allow a, me to that's finish a, the point. That's a I'm not, I'm not talking specifically to Georgia. I'm talking specifically to the paradigm. Right, the you can paradigm, speak to it. The political paradigm <laughs> Such is this. Such a specious argument. Out of we should spend more, million, you're right. Dear brother, out of $100 billion, they say you only have a million dollars to work with. And when they do that, you have people arguing over pennies while they decide right. to steal billions. They make you think absolutely. that the absolutely. only way is to you're debate right. this other group rather yeah. than go to the source <laughs> and get what you paid them. Through right. your tax, uh, I agree taxation. with you, dog. Thank you, brother. On that you. note, we I probably agree with have you. to end while you might have No, I agree with you on that note. Thank you. But the fact is, we have what we have. So until we All take right. it back from them, because we've been voting for the same people that have been robbing us for the last 50 years. So until we stop voting for those people on both sides right. of the aisle and have right. that real argument and take All back right. our money, that's, that's fair, fair enough. But until we, until we do that, here's the argument. Let's not let other people in to spend the money that we're trying to take back. That's the okay. Point. All right. So I disagree on that last portion, but yeah. I agree with the prerequisite leading up to it. I just think it's a better solution moving forward. I wish I had more time to brother. Yeah. It is good to see you on this yeah. Friday, okay? You can come on my show long term like Killer Mike. You want me to come? Man, I was 10 <laughs> apart, man. Y'all don't want me over there, man. I would, I would, I would 20. Y'all don't I want me over there, man. Somebody will hear you, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 um, um, sir, is, is, my, is my radio show who's voted number one five years yeah. in a row? Come That's on, yours. man. Come on, okay, man. Okay, all right, brother. Come I just on, want to man. make sure you remember that. Yeah, you talk about you, you election. Were in the running. You talk. You, you came came in like seven. I didn't come in at all. I don't think I was in that <laughs> running. But I will tell you, talk about elect stolen election. <laughs> Let's talk about that, brother. <laughs> hey, man. It's good to see you, brother. My brother, love you. Love you back, man.